meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Well, some signs of spring out there today. Decent amount of sunshine, some melting going on. Speaking of spring, we spring forward with the clocks tonight. Do not forget to do that before you head to bed. That is the first item in what I'm tracking. And as you uh, wake up tomorrow morning, you will notice that it stays dark a while longer. So there is a trade off when we talk about this time change. To be exact, sunset this evening. If you remember, just a few hours ago it was before 6 p.m. Tomorrow it's at 6:44. It will be nice to get that extra hour of daylight. However, like I just said, there is a trade-off in the morning. It's tough to get up right after this time change. Today's sunrise was at 6:11. Tomorrow is 7:10 in the morning. So if you're an early riser, especially the next several days, it may take you a few days for your body to adjust. You may need that extra cup of coffee. As we take a look downtown, things are clear and quiet. Temperature is 29 degrees, really not that bad given to what we've been experiencing the past couple weeks. Winds are out of the south at 6 miles an hour. Other temperatures checking in generally in the 30s as well. 31 westerly, 32 in Newport. Block Island at 34 degrees. And our winds are starting to calm down, especially inland in Pawtucket right now. We're 3 miles an hour. A little breezy here on Block Island at 13 miles an hour. 3 miles an hour in westerly. Overall, the winds go calmer overnight before kicking back up again tomorrow afternoon. That's because we'll have a weak cold front coming on through. You can see the snow showers right ahead of the cold front. This gradually swings through tomorrow afternoon out ahead of that some gusty conditions and also the potential for a quick snow shower or rain shower. This will not be a big deal and I would not be surprised if most of us make it through the entire day without any precipitation. You can see this is at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Notice the very scattered nature of the precipitation. This kind of tells the story. If you're out and about, maybe at lunch or just after lunch, you may notice a quick raindrop or a quick snowflake. That would be about it. And then partly cloudy skies as we go into Sunday night. Now, temperatures tonight, not as chilly as what we saw last night. Mid-20s generally around midnight through the wee hours of tomorrow morning. You can see around 23 in Smithfield. There could be some outlying locations here in western Rhode Island out towards Foster, which dip briefly into the teens. And then we recover back into the upper 30s to low 40s. Now, now at the coast, a little cooler during the afternoon as some of those winds once again come out of the south southwest. And keep in mind, ocean temperature is pretty chilly, so that'll have a cooling effect down here in places like Newport and Jamestown. But still a decent day across the board. And as that front pushes on through, it's going to be breezy. We'll call it a mix of sun and clouds, so not quite as much sunshine as we saw today. But keep in mind, we'll get that extra hour of daylight in the evening. Seven day future cast brings in still a cool day on Monday. The normal temperature for Monday is 46 degrees, so we're still below normal. On Tuesday, 41, a slight chance of some rain showers Tuesday night into Wednesday. Right now, I'm thinking the best chance of seeing those showers would be at the south coast on Wednesday. So we'll leave the inland forecast dry for now. That is something we'll just need to watch. And then it gets colder again Thursday and Friday. On Saturday, we may start with some snowflakes, but it looks like mostly rain showers by Saturday afternoon. But as you know, that is six days away. A lot could change in the meantime. All right, thanks, Pete. Coming up next, and I would say is it